Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Doug with FellowshipOfTheMartyrs.com. Today is Friday the 14th of October uh, 2011. We are uh, just started the Feast of Tabernacles and I am in my room um, getting some time with the Lord, fasting and praying and seeking some answers on things and trying to break some of the uh, warfare that's going on um, or see a what the Lord what the Lord's doing through it all I wanted to do a video about something and I think the Lord's just redirecting the whole thing so um, <clears throat> I'm in contact with lots of people all over by email and phone and and YouTube Facebook whatever plus local folks and I think it's fair to say that I am disproportionately in contact with people that are um, that are real radicals, that are really truly chasing after the Lord with everything, have surrendered everything, uh, prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors, teachers, but mostly prophets and apostles. And the good ones, not the ones that just put it on their business card or were voted on by a committee or something. Um, and they are pretty universally right now suffering tremendously. Some of them physically, some of them financially, relationally, marriages, some of them all of the above at the same time. And... All of them waiting on promises that the Lord has given them that they don't understand, that they thought were supposed to have happened by now, and um, they're tired, beaten, limping, lonely, broken, um, and yet um, holding you know, standing somehow by His grace. Maybe you're one of those. It's not just that we're in an economic downturn. Um, this is something different. Um, and supernatural. And I know that the enemy of our souls is doing everything he can to stop um, us, to stop what God wants to accomplish through us, to destroy the ministries that God has spoken over time need to come forth, to disrupt uh, supply chains, to disrupt networking, communication, and keep us from working together, and everything else. Um, the the enemy will absolutely facilitate Occupy Wall Street, Occupy this, whatever, disjointed, chaotic noise. Um, but for the people of God to really get together um, and get some critical mass and push forward, that would be all bad for the kingdom of darkness. So I just want to encourage you, whatever you're going through, I believe the Feast of Tabernacles is important. It's always important, but I think this year it's really important. I don't know what will happen. I don't know what it will look like. I've seen breakthrough before immediately following the Feast of Tabernacles. And I've seen it get real ugly and people get munched. Uh, even today we've got... Um, several people uh, that have been here with the ministry that have decided to move on um, not angry with the ministry or whatever like that but just for whatever reason want to get time with their families or, or launch out into their ministry that they think they're prepared for now and whether they are or not whether they're hearing right or not the Lord will the Lord will judge, 
but I know that there's a, a tremendous effort to bring division inside the body right now, to just to, to bring a wedge between marriages, between people, um, between families, and uh, I, I just encourage everybody to stand firm against it, rebuke it, and um, get through this time best we can. Um, I just want you to know that uh, we're praying for you. Maybe, maybe we don't even know your name. Maybe you've never contacted me. It doesn't matter. We're praying for you. We're praying for everybody that's that's suffering right now. Everybody that's getting pounded on by all of this, and all of the righteous remnant that are out there um, pressing into the Lord and trying to do the best they can and and suffering anyway. So um, I believe that breakthroughs coming. I believe that uh, the Lord hears our prayers. I believe that that. Uh, that the Feast of Tabernacles is real important. I'd encourage you to learn all you can about it. Um, it's not something that, as a Baptist, I grew up <coughs> studying or understanding. And there's all kinds of theories out there about what it is and what it means and what it's for, and I've never been satisfied with any of them as being definitive and authoritative and really understanding the deep things of God. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, that I understand. I don't. I don't have a teaching about it because... I don't think I get the fullness of it, and, and I don't want to teach what I know in part and haven't received revelation from the Lord on that, that I can stand on and, and uh, um, you know, that I can stand on. Anyway, um, I guess I just want to encourage you. You're not alone. There are lots of folks out there that are obeying the Lord, that are doing right, and are getting pounded on. Um, the book of Micah, I'd encourage you to go watch my videos about the book of Micah, that in the last days, the, the flock of his inheritance are those little sheep that he afflicted, that he put into captivity, that dwell alone in the mountains, in the woods, of, in the mountains of Carmel, and walk with a limp. It says, she that halteth. And I had to look that up <laughs> in uh, King James, but it means those that walk with a limp. Those that, like Jacob, wrestled with God and blew their hip out of joint, whatever. And uh, that this is the flock of his inheritance. These limping, lonely, raggedy, afflicted, captive little sheep. That he's going to rescue them and gather them together in the fields of Bashan. And they will make the noises of many men and their holiness will shock the nations. And they will be um, happy when they finally all get together. And they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They're just so glad to be together and not be alone anymore that uh, none, of the, none of the little side issues matter anymore. So I know that that's part of his plan. I know that it's coming. I don't know what it'll look like or how, and I don't know where, but I hope that we're part of that. And uh, uh, I just want to encourage you to just hang on a little longer. That when you've done everything that you know how to do, when you've done all you can, just stand. Just stand. And uh, watch him move on your behalf. Thanks for listening. Um, if God says to come to liberty, you're most welcome. We figure if you can get here, God must have allowed it. And we're going to love you and do the best we can for you. If you want to help what we're doing here, and uh, you're not one of the ones that's getting completely destroyed financially at the moment, <laughs> you're welcome to send us a PayPal to FOTM at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com, and every little bit helps. Uh, there's times when 10 or $15 makes all the difference, and that's how tight we run. Um, so anyway, thanks for listening. God bless you, and uh, continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, amen.